Hi everyone, it's Ileana and I have a cute little card to share with you. This card was made using Avery L. Critter Crew. This is part of their new release for February of 2018. What I'm doing is that I'm just using my Mini Misty to stamp onto some Bristol cardstock. I am lining everything up with my transparency and you can find this transparency on mysweetpetunia.com and it's in the download section and you could download this and um, you can print it onto a transparency or you can take it to your office supply store and have them print it for you. I'm stamping it with Lawn Fond Jet Black ink and I don't really know why I did that. I stamped it and then I realized that I wanted to heat emboss it. So I put my cardstock back into the Misty and I re-stamped it using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I used my clear embossing powder. Uh, the reason why I did that was because I kind of wanted the embossing powder to create um, a barrier for my watercoloring. It really helps for the colors to stay where you want them to um, go. So I've taped my panel down onto a piece of uh, just to a board and I'm just using my Molotov um, masking pen and I'm just going around the edges just so that it's a little bit easier for me to paint the background. I don't want to paint my critters and then have to go back and worry about coloring around them. So I'm going to start off by creating a floor. That way my um, focal image isn't just floating around. And so I just added some gray and then I just used my watercolor brush to just kind of spread the color around. And using the Bristol cardstock really helps with these pens. Um, I tried using different cardstock and the color doesn't move as well. And now I'm going around my focal image and I'm just just putting some color around the edges and I'm not being too careful because I know that my masking fluid is going to protect it. I'm taking a damp silver brush and I believe this is a number eight and I'm just working the blue out so that it kind of looks like a halo around my critters. I did mess up a little bit on the ground and so I'm just fixing that mistake. And now I'm just taking my finger and I'm rubbing off the masking fluid. And for any sections that I had a little trouble getting the masking fluid off, I just used my Tombow Mono Zero eraser and that really helped get those little pieces that uh, I couldn't rub off. Now I'm going to start coloring my box with a wine red color. I'm adding the color to where I think it would be the darkest, so where I would imagine that there is a shadow. And then I take my silver number eight brush, I believe, and I just dampen it up and I use that to pull the color. And that way I get natural highlights. I'm also using the color on two of the party hats. Uh, my theory is, is that creates the, you know, triangle, the visual triangle. And I did change to a smaller brush. I believe this is a six. And now I'm going to color the different critters. I did speed this up quite a bit just for the sake of time. And I'm using the same concept. I'm just putting the color where I think it would be the darkest. Uh, to me, it was a lot easier to add more color than to go too dark and then try to remove the color. And now that my box was dry, I went back and I added another coat because I wanted it to be more of a red color. And because when I diluted the color down, it kind of looked like a pink. So I added more color. And I only did, I found that it was easier to do sections at a time because of the barrier the embossing powder created. So it was a lot easier to do a small section at a time. 
I found that when I used these pens that um, you get really bad blooms if you don't have your paper entirely wet. So if you it's dry and then you just do a little part to correct something, you end up getting a, a bloom and I didn't really care for the bloom. So I was trying to keep my paper wet for as much as I could until I was satisfied with the color. So for the bear, I am using a dark brown and I once again thought it would be a lot easier to add color than it would be to take it away because the dark brown uh, is very dark. I'm sorry that my head's in the way, but um, you do notice that I am wearing glasses. I did go to the eye doctor in the fall and I do still have 20-20 vision. I just reached that age where I need reading glasses. Um, I did ask him if I could try monovision and so he did prescribe one contact lens and so I have the contact lens which serves as a reading lens in my non-dominant eye and so your your brain adjusts so you could you have one eye for far-sighted and one eye for near-sighted and I can watercolor without glasses, but sometimes it takes a little bit longer for my eyes to adjust. So I kind of had to look at something before um, I could see it. And I was in too much of a hurry. And so I just put on some reading glasses. And so <laughs> everything was ginormous. Um, and so I can get into the little tiny little details of this um image a lot faster. I do have to say that it is nice to be able to look at my cell phone and to look at the screen and not have to hold my arm out to read my text messages. So I'm kind of really glad that I went and got contacts. Oh, so back to the coloring. I am almost done and I'm just coloring the little puppy. And I wanted to just give him a little bit of contrast. And so I'm just adding some brown to the mustard that I used to color him. And I ended up, at first I tried using a number two watercolor brush, but the tip was so wispy that I had a hard time. So I ended up using a six or an eight. So what I'm doing now is I'm just adding a little bit of detail to the party hats using my Jelly Roll pen. And once I'm done, I did notice that my Jelly Roll did go over the edges of my party hats. So I went ahead and touched that up with a fine tip Sharpie. And I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle, so I am using my Wink of Stella. The Wink of Stella does pick up the color, so you want to be careful and you want to wipe away any of the color because it does move it around. And for the final touches, I'm adding some Lucy Abrams Jewel Iridescent um, Clear Gems. And I used my multi matte medium and now I'm adding some clear glitter onto the little pom poms of the party hats. I also used my die cutter to trim out this card front and I used my Lawn Fawn inside out dies and I did mount it onto a pink cardstock. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. Have a great day.